Don't Starve is an uncompromising survival game in which you attempt to not starve for as long as possible. There is a popular myth in the community that an emasculated black creature with demonic red eyes and two legs with large claws known as the Gru will spawn on day 1000. The legend says that a long piece of land going into the ocean will appear. Following it leads to an island where the Gru is set to appear. One day, a player known as Meatgood made it to day 1000 while playing as Wilson. When Meatgood saw the bridge... I... stopped and went back to base. <laughs> he stopped and went back to base. Okay, let's see what the bot does with this. This is gonna be a real interesting story. He oh. never returned. His body <laughs> was found. <laughs> what? I already died? <laughs> You drown! You had death by water! What? I went back to base and I tripped and I fell down the water. Oh my god, okay. I love how you did like, you tried to do a high IQ move and avoid the creepy pasta and it kills you immediately. Right, Lips, what, what are you gonna do? Alright, I would that? like my, my modded character to either be Drock the Caveman or Frisk Undertale. Alright, you're playing as Frisk from Undertale. <laughs> what did you do when you saw the bridge in your day a thousand world? Um, I got off my beefalo, fed it to grass, and then went along the bridge. The first thing he noticed was a large amount of food on the ground. He ate some and continued onto the island, but when he got there, the island simply ended in water. In disbelief, he flew up using his jetpack and looked around. <laughs> Does the beefalo get bitched? Apparently, yeah, because I pulled out my jetpack. Okay. Where, where does it go from here? Let's see. When he finally realized what had happened, he became angry. He took off all his equipment except for his armor and threw away his items. He then died in despair. <laughs> As a result of his actions, many players also died after following him. What? What seems to have happened is Lips traveled along the island, then died. Sometime later, Miku appears and also dies. Miku, real name Miku, is waiting in the lobby for his dentist appointment. After falling asleep, he wakes up in a strange place known as the back rooms. What do you do? Okay, so first of all, I bring out my scoob scuba gear, because you all know. You need scuba gear when you go to the dentists. Mikut puts on his scuba gear that he got before going to the dentist. Then he leaves the hotel room where he was sleeping. What? Which is what? inside the building called the Hotel Delicatessen. He steps outside and sees a large tree with an odd shape. It looks like a human head with ho Where are you? Uh, He's in the back rooms, man. He was- <laughs> he woke up in the hotel of the back rooms, apparently. Did, did, but, but he leaves the hotel room, so does that mean he escaped immediately? Hang on, let me Google Did I hotel. win? <laughs> no. The, the back rooms- the back rooms has like multiple parts, this is just one of them. Alright, alright, how about we ask the human head, with horns growing from the top of it, if he escaped the back rooms? Okay, ask it, ask it. By the way, I googled the name of the hotel and nothing came up. It pulled that name out of thin air. Miku asks the human if he is still in the back rooms. The human replies no and tells yes. him to come over to this table. I win. <laughs> he left immediately, what the hell? Okay, hang on, hang on, I wanna, I wanna have a go. Can you, can you do mine? I have All an right. idea. That's one point for Miku. Can you do, he then turns around and leaves. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna- I wanna see if it's that easy. He then turns oh, no. around and attempts to leave. The fact you said attempts means it's gonna go like, attempts? I can summon this ruin to come kill him. In what seems like hours of walking, he comes across many odd things. An alligator snapping turtle, a face full of statues of the Virgin Mary, an abandoned school bus, a graveyard with tombstones that look like they are made from children's building blocks, a bathroom filled with dolls. Okay, we get it. So, uh... Um, what the hell? What Where do you do now? What do you do now? Um, he really is in the back rooms. I am, I am, apparently. Because, you know, the back rooms is infamous for a maze full of statues of the Virgin Mary. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Okay, you know what? Can I pull out my crucifix and start praying, please? Lips pulls out his crucifix and starts praying. As he does so, the doll on top of the toilet appears to come alive oh. and starts talking in Spanish. <laughs> oh, what? It tries to attack him by biting off one of his fingers before it gets knocked away by the cross. Look, you see? The cross is saving me. Jesus is actually here. 
<laughs> no, but you, in you like summoned a demon with the cross. No, I summoned Jesus, man. Okay, can I please yell into the heavens, big Jesus, please come and save me. Lips yells Jeez. out for Jesus, begging him to save him. This causes the doll to disappear. He continues I told you, I told you! He continues through the rest of the back rooms, which now seem more like a haunted house than a hospital. He hears footsteps coming towards him, and he runs into a room that is suddenly flooded with water. Uh-oh. Oh no, I'm gonna get the Megan uh, treatment. That's- I told you, you need scuba gear. Okay, you know what, can I- can I pull out my scuba gear that I have while waiting for the dentist? From the- no, borrowed from the, the dentist. <laughs> dentist gave it to me. He pulls out his scuba gear that he borrowed from the dentist. He goes underwater and finds himself face to face with a large alligator snapping turtle. Oh, he sees the creature's mouth open and closes his eyes. A man in a diving suit appears and swims away from the alligator <gasps> snapping turtle. Is that me good? Is that me? <laughs> Did I find him? Can I please yell out, Me good, come back! Lips yells, Me good, come back! The man alligator. reappears behind the alligator snapping turtle and hits it over the head with his dive helmet. Let's Lips go! Me good! <laughs> Lips takes out his pistol and shoots the man. <laughs> <laughs> then the man in the diving suit appears again, and this time, he begins to breathe fire. We're underwater! <laughs> what is okay, going I have, on? I have so many questions. Firstly, why did Mika take off his helmet to whack the turtle? <laughs> Secondly, why did I shoot him? Thirdly, why is he trying to breathe fire underwater? Wait. Can I use the body of the, of the alligator snapping turtle to whack him around the head, please, <laughs> instead of using my pistol? Lips throws the alligator snapping turtle at Miku. The man in the diving suit hits the alligator snapping turtle with his dive helmet, knocking it unconscious. This. The man in the diving suit puts his hand on Miku, and he disappears into thin air. What? He looks I'm down, different... and then there is blood coming out of his pocket. <laughs> Why is that two Miku? So firstly... <laughs> Firstly, he kills the alligator snapping turtle again, and then he, he <laughs> put his hand on himself and disappeared. All right, you, you gotta use this situation to somehow leave the back rooms. Otherwise, you're gonna you're gonna just keep on running into stupid situations. Okay, can I uh, can I use the blood coming out of my pocket to create a blood mancy spell to create a portal out of the back rooms? Lips takes the opportunity to try and open a portal using the blood. However, he gets distracted by the sound of someone yelling in another part of the building. He rushes over to find a woman standing under a tree. She has long black hair and wears red lipstick, a white dress, and high heels. This could be the key to getting out of the back rooms. Maybe she knows something. I see blue eyes white dragon! Oh, what the hell? The woman screams and grabs the gun out of his hand. She what? points it at lips and pulls the trigger! No. Wait, 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 did he die? Wait, Before wait, no, she didn't. can pull the trigger, Lips uses his magic to teleport them both outside, wait. <laughs> I told you I'm magic, I told outside? you! I don't know, outside? Outside? Does this mean wall. you're outside the back rooms? Okay, okay, can I ask the woman where are we? Because <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the only option I have here. She's just gonna say no and then shoot me, what happens then? Lips asks does... the woman if they are still in the back rooms. The woman <laughs> says yes and tells yes! him that the back what? room is a terrible place that isn't real. Wait, wait, it's not real! Well then I've one from the start. <laughs> what? No, 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 that's the not fair. The back rooms isn't real. I've won from the. It was all rigged from the start, me good. I'm sorry. No, I'm no, we both no, got no. one point. Wait, hang on. Did the AI really just pull up? This is a dream sequence on me. Yep. Story three. A player known as Mikud, aka Mikud, is playing his favorite game, Minecraft. After returning to his base from mining, he finds that it is on fire and there are red torches on top of gold blocks nearby. What do you do? Okay, first of all, as any sane person would do, is I would report the grief to the head admin. Mikud reports the griefing incident to the head admin. He then runs down a tunnel when he sees a pile of dirt with torches on top of it. It turns out that this was Herobrine's base, which he has been watching for years. What? I need to uh, how, did, stalk how did you not Herobrine. see the dirt tunnel with torches in it? I, I think I think me could uh, the head admin just left you on red. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So I went and uh, took this into my own hands. Okay. 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 This is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to see if Herobrine is in the base, and if he's not, I'm going to rig his base to blow. Oh. oh. Miku checks to see if Herobrine is in his base. If not, he will rig it with explosives to kill Herobrine. Whoa. Guys, can we appreciate Orange for putting this much effort into a joke? What? what? 
<laughs> okay, okay. Let's just delete that. I don't think that's canon. <laughs> Mikud searches through Herobrine's stuff, but nothing comes up. Herobrine's bed is just a block of wood with a brick underneath. His bed sheet reads, The End, in big letters. Okay, so he's not in. Okay. Yeah, he's not here. I dig under his base and put uh, at least two stacks of TNT underneath it. Mikud sets a trap under his base and places two stacks of TNT. <laughs> when Herobrine walks over to it, the explosion kills him instantly. This is why Herobrine's death is unknown, because he never got to die. Because Mikud killed him before he could die. <laughs> I am so confused. Firstly, is he dead or not? Yes. Okay. Secondly, meet good. Why? Well, how are you good at this? <laughs> like, mine go on for several paragraphs, and yours just go on for a handful of sentences. I'm, I'm telling you, I am the AI. Okay. Apparently, yeah. Now watch mine be like seven pages long. <laughs> All right, it's lips' turn. Clearly, I would do what any sane Minecraft player would do, and I would mine the gold blocks to make golden apples. True. Watch here, Brian, be in the gold or something. Lips mines the gold blocks to make golden apples. He then goes back to his base when an enderman appears and attacks him, but he kills it by throwing a golden apple at it. The enderman flies away as if it what? was happy. <laughs> he next what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Meek, Jay and Meek, are you the AI? Are you rigging this? I literally am. <laughs> Hang on, wait, 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 wait. I wake up in the next morning and I find myself dead. Have I been like reincarnated as a different creature? And I wake up okay. to find my dead body? Let, let, let's see what the AI does with this. The reason Lips died was because he was killed by an Ender Dragon. In survival mode, Ender Dragons will appear randomly in any area in a radius of about 10 blocks. They may be small or they can grow to become big enough to destroy entire bases with one breath. That is bullshit. That is complete bullshit. Mikud reported him to the admin and won, yet I tried to make golden apples and I die the next morning. What is this? This is this is like a, is Mikud cheating somehow? What's happening? Alright, two to one. It's time for the final story. So okay. this is a haunted video game cartridge. And I'm going to let you select what game it is. Okay, oh, I'm going okay. to have a... Okay, it's my I turn. I think first. you already know what mine's gonna be. Mine is gonna be... Okay, so it has to be a cartridge, okay. Wario Land. Wario Land. Alright, Wario Land. Mikud is a man whose friends call Mikud, or sometimes Mikud, who played <laughs> Wario Land in his childhood. This game made a lot to him. So when he saw it at a garage sale, he immediately asked the old man how much it cost. Strangely enough, the old man said he could have it for 5 cents. The copy of the game was a bit unusual though. The quote unquote game was a white disc with the words Wario Land scribbled on with black marker. I'm going to put the disc into my computer and extract the files from it. Ooh. Mikud is suspicious of the disc, so he puts it into his computer and extracts the files. When the file extractor finishes running all that, all that comes up is a single word, zombies. But then suddenly an error message pops up saying error, loading disk error. He tries again, this time with a different program. This one works perfectly fine and shows him the same thing. After trying this many times, he decides to open it in a Windows media player instead. The loading screen comes up, showing the picture of two guys playing a game. Okay, I run the game? I play the game? Is there like he even- can I even play the game? What's right. going on? Imagine, right? You're- You've loaded up the game, and all it is is just two people playing a game. You're watching a Let's Play. It loads and starts, but there's no music or sound effects. There is, however, a single frame of text scrolling across the bottom of the screen. It says, Welcome to Wario Land. Okay, so I, I clearly have to push the game to do something. I choose the character Wario, and I start eating as much garlic as possible. In real life or in the game? In the game, in the game. <laughs> okay. Miku chooses the character Wario and starts eating as much garlic as possible. Then he turns off the lights and goes to bed. 
In the, in the morning, he wakes up and finds himself alone. He searches his house, but everything seems normal. He checks his computer and sees that Wario Land is gone. <gasps> But when he looks at his hard drive, he sees a new file called zombies.wmv. When he plays it, he sees that it is a video of his house. He watches it carefully, and after a while, he notices something very strange. No way. Oh no, do we see what it is? Okay, let's happy. see, let's see. In the video, there are hundreds of zombies walking around outside. They're moving at random, not following any sort of pattern. It at first looks like they're just walking along, but then they begin to stop. Okay, listen, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to go outside of my house and start playing PVZ in real life. <laughs> Can you go outside and plant a sunflower? Midgood goes outside and plants a sunflower from Plants vs Zombies. As soon as the seeds start sprouting, the zombies run towards him. Then right in front of his eyes, they bite into their own arms. The audio for the video is silent, but you can hear the zombies screaming. Wait, what? Is this okay, all in the so video? Yeah, Midgood's this... inside the video now, I guess. Oh, I'm in the video, okay. Apparently. So they're, they're, they're biting their own arms? They're killing themselves. Uh, I tell... Okay, hold on, hold on. I ask the zombies where their master is. There okay. you go. The zombies. <laughs> yeah. Mikud asks the zombies where their master is. One zombie tells them that their master is dead. He got eaten by other zombies. The zombies <laughs> all scream at once and turn into skeletons. The skeletons follow Mikud home. When he gets back inside, he goes to sleep. <laughs> okay, so... Did Meat Good win? I don't know, there's still skeletons. So... Okay, press okay. press send. Press send. No no no, hold on, hold on, no. Okay, wait, no, I'm asleep. Yeah, press send, press send. Okay, let's see let's see if you won or not. Please tell me he dies. I really need him to die for this. The skeletons <laughs> kill him while he sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> when he wakes up, his computer is gone and finds his closet full of bones. The skull of the skeleton has been placed on top of the pile. When he leaves the house, he sees another human being. So he did beat the haunted video game. Yeah, I, and they took I the computer with what? him. Can we ask the, the other human if he would? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, sure. Mikud asks this person if the zombies are God. The human answers that they are. Mikud thanks him and goes back home. His computer is still there and the zombies are also God. Mikud decides to call his friend Jack and tell him about what happened. Great, great. <laughs> so Mikud won and he gets a friend. And he this gets his computer back. <laughs> Mikud just got like... The, the easiest ending ever. He went outside and saw the zombies killing themselves. They turned into skeletons, followed him back inside where he then took a nap and then he won. <laughs> that was that was it. That's what just happened. It's I guess your it's time for lips. my game. You wanna know what my game is? What? I am buying a haunted edition of Minecraft story mode. Oh no. no! I'm not sure you'd want to revisit Minecraft, seeing as last time it happened you randomly died, but... I then put my... put the disc into my PS2 Call of Duty edition. Lips returns home and puts the disc in his PS2 Call of Duty edition. After loading up the game, he realizes that there are no instructions. Instead, he sees a small window appear in front of him and it says, Hi! You've been sent here because you have a special destiny! After talking for a while, the window disappears. What, what did we talk about? The next thing Lips knows is that he's teleported into some kind of forest with an angry red sky. He also notices that the ground has started to shake and strange sounds are heard all around him. <laughs> okay, great. So Mika got like a couple hundred zombies and I have like the literal apocalypse. I'm gonna climb into one of the trees. He tries to go back to his house to get help, but he finds that he cannot move. Finally, after what feels like forever, the shaking stops and Lips figures out that he can move again. He hurries off in search of a safe place and comes across a shack at the edge of a cliff. When he goes inside, he discovers that someone is living there. A woman who he assumes is named Sam appears to be <laughs> living in the shack alone. She tells him that she's going to do something really important and needs his help. Why do, why do I assume she's called Sam? I accept her quest and I tell her that I will join her. Lips accepts the quest and tells her that he will join her. The two of them walk over to the edge of the cliff where they jump down to the ground below. They okay. then head to the farmhouse on the other side of the river. When they arrive at the farmhouse, Sam informs Lips that she needs to put something in. Oh no, what the f- that, that really doesn't- Sound. I, okay, you know what? 
You know what? Can I just refuse? But before she can say anything, Lips denies her request. I'm gonna get shot for this and lose because I'm trying to keep your video, like, family friendly. In response, Sam runs out of the door screaming, No! 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 And quickly vanishes from sight. After a few minutes, Lips realizes that she may have gone insane. He decides to stay in the barn until she gets back. By the way, this is Minecraft story mode, apparently. I don't know who, like, Sam is, whether or not that's a character from Minecraft. Okay, Wait, no, you know what? You know what? If, can we have Jesse appear? <laughs> <laughs> and then Jesse enters the barn and says hello to Lips. Alright, let, let's just say, like, Lips starts looking for Jesse. When he finds him, he gives him a key to the shack. Once the key is in Jesse's hand, the screen blacks out. And then the next scene begins. Lips is walking through the forest when a voice comes out of nowhere. Lips asks the voice if he can leave the game. It says yes, and then disappears. Let's go! Suddenly, Lips hears a loud scream. At first, Lips think it might just be Sam, but then he realizes whoever made the sound is closer than that. I'm allowed to leave the game. So, do you can want I... to close the game? Oh, you know what? No, I'm, I'm going to make this story interesting. I'm going to go investigate the voice. Lips decides to investigate the voice anyway. As he walks, he looks around, noticing that everything seems so bright. There is not a single cloud in the sky, which makes the sun very bright. After a while, he finally comes upon a building. Why is there like an anime woman in the bottom? Yeah, right she sometimes appears. Like, this is the AI, apparently. Oh, okay, I see. I, see. I went to go investigate a voice. Then Can I you went just to close Helen. the game and do the Miku strategy of going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? No, I will do the meat good strategy, but in another way. Can I leave the game and plant a sunflower? Lips has had enough, so he closes the game and plants a sunflower from Plants vs. Zombies on his lawn. Okay, if this next sentence says that I'm, like, not in the game, or, like, says... Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, not again! The next day, Lips wakes up to find out that he's been transported into another world. He can oh see the green god. grass under his feet and blue skies above him. Lips soon realizes that he's standing outside of a castle. Oh my god, I'm in Mario now. <laughs> he's in Mario. Okay, you know what? Can I ask the can I ask the Mario brothers for help? Lips contacts the Mario brothers for help. After a few minutes, the three of them run towards Let's the go! castle and enter. That was easy. After the three of them reach the middle of the room, they notice that there's a big tree trunk blocking the way forward. It's fine, I have Mario. He fireflowers it. Alright, yeah. With the help of Luigi, they manage to push what? the trunk on the side and continue forward. <laughs> we ignore Mario then. As they pass yeah. the tree, they notice that it's growing flowers. Once they I'm make just... it past the tree, they come across a gate. No, 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 no. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. There's trees and flowers. On the other side of the gate, there is... Uh, Bowser. What? No, 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 there's Asgore. Wait, you want to make Asgore the villain? I mean, there's flowers and trees and a bunch of plants. On the other side of the gate, there is Asgore from Undertale. He tells them that he must kill them since he did not save the children. Oh! Lips asks him why they should trust him. Asgore reminds him that he saved his wife from death. Lips replies that he's sorry about that, but that doesn't mean he should trust him. Wait, Asgore saved what? my wife? I have a wife now? Is Sam my wife? You you have to kill him. He's asking okay. you to kill him. Can I ask Luigi of the Mario Brothers to stomp on his head, please? Okay. <sighs> what is going on? <laughs> I don't know anymore, but I'm winning. This is so meant I'm to be a creepy pasta, but like not in creepiest It is, but I have but I have Mario and Luigi on my side. So Lips I'm okay. asks Luigi to stomp on Asgore. Lips is scared that he might hurt them, so he grabs a hammer and strikes Asgore. I win. <laughs> He falls unconscious and Lips decides to leave him behind. Yeah, you win. I won. Okay. okay. Yes, I won. I have how many points? Do you have three Lips as two? Good job, me good. You're the luckiest. Yeah, I Yay. win. Round okay. of applause. Can we have a bonus Gru game? A bonus Gru game, sure. What do you do when you see the bridge? Okay, so I'm going to come prepared this time. I'm going to go back to base and get a nightmare sword and a football helmet. Last time you tried to go back to your base, you died. Yeah, but this time I'm collecting stuff. When Miku sees the bridge, he goes back to base to collect his dark swords and football helmets. Upon returning to the bridge, he was greeted by the sight of a black creature with demonic red eyes and two legs. A second later, the Gru appeared right behind him. Miku's last words were, I'm so excited! Wait, last words? <laughs> okay. Hang on, hang on, press send, press send again. Maybe. He just never decides to speak again. 
after this. Press spend again. <laughs> he then fell off the bridge and died instantly. <laughs> Not <What>? again. again. <laughs> this game has been heavily influenced by games such as the Legend of Zelda series, Oregon Trail, and Castle.